Manipuram General Hospital in Bengaluru receives about 500 to 800 patients on an average weekday. The Sunday afternoon looks almost deserted since most doctors are on leave. Just outside the ICU and labor wards, patients and their families stop to fill up some water. But what you see here is not the commonly used RO water purifier. This is an atmospheric water generator. ಏರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲಿಗೆ ಅಳವಡಿಸಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಆಗಿದ್ದಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬರೀ ಏರಲ್ಲೇ ನೀರು ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಜನ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಖುಷಿ ಆಯಿತು ಅದರಿಂದ ಇದು ತುಂಬ ಅನುಕೂಲಕರವಾಗಿದೆ ನೀರು ಇಲ್ಲದೇನೂ ನೀರು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಈ ಮಿಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ much like jyoti to a lot of us the idea that water can be generated from air does sound like an idea from the future so is the future here can the air all around us be harnessed to fulfill the most basic need for human survival we ask s vishwanath who's been working in the water sector for more than 30 years water generators have been around in singapore for some years now they're also coming in, in into india the air water generators are being used in um, hospitals and nursing homes and large community demand spaces as well as in some rich apartments uh, households air water generators uh, work on the same philosophy as air conditioners do the industry is at an ascent stage the science behind the technology in use here seems basic At a certain temperature called dew point the water vapor in the air gets condensed in order to form water the result is pure distilled water that is then infused with essential minerals to make it suitable for drinking we spoke to the founder of maitri aquatech the manufacturer of the meghdoot system operational at kr puram hospital Since its first product launch in 2018, the company claims to have executed 1,200 projects across 30 countries and generated 22.5 lakh litres of water from air. The demand is predominantly is coming from two quarters. One, areas where there is a scarcity of water, either in terms of quantity or quality. That can be small residential places, large corporates, or even when the people go into coast guard like people go into the sea most of the other demand is also coming from large corporates who want to have a sustainable play and they want to look at it from a sustainability angle and they want to be there so we have our clients include like google microsoft indian railways so what's driving the switch to this technology air water generators are more eco friendly than the predominant ro water purifiers which have reject water containing harmful chemicals Setting up these systems in public spaces also reduces the use of packaged drinking water and with it large scale plastic pollution. But the biggest impact this technology could potentially have is in groundwater savings. Every glass of air generated water consumed is one glass of groundwater saved. India is the largest extractor of groundwater in the world, more than the USA and China put together. A study published by science.org reveals that by 2025, large swaths of the northwest and southern parts of India will face critically low groundwater availability. We only need to travel an hour from the city to witness the situation firsthand at a village called Bande Bombasandra. Groundwater situation in this area is very worse. Nowadays, it is getting more difficult to get water from underground. Why means we are drilling up to 1,200-1,000 feet, but we are not able to get sufficient good water. With the expansion of city limits, like in the case of Bengaluru, the landscape around it has changed dramatically. In villages like Mohan Reddy's, farms have been replaced by factories and warehouses that put a strain on already depleting groundwater levels. One startup, however, is trying to mitigate the situation. Urufu Labs claims to create 100% renewable water from the atmosphere using the desiccant technology instead of condensation. Desiccant materials like the silica gel we find in flasks are known to naturally absorb and store humidity from the atmosphere. 
So if I could show you one of these machines, so this machine produces water from air and as the air is getting sucked through the machine, something called adsorption happens. During adsorption process, the desiccant material picks up humidity from humidity in air. We move that de desiccant material to another machine called desorption machine. Mass that was adsorbed earlier will now be dissolved in form of water vapor that is condensed. This water that we make is actually distilled in nature. After minerals are added to make it drinkable, this water is bottled and sold. The bottles are returned for refilling and the company says it plans to use electric vehicles for most of its transportation needs within the next month. Since its inception in 2019, Urufu Labs claims to have saved more than 1 lakh litres of groundwater. Water, water is consumed by human beings for their drinking purposes. 20% of that is floating around us in form of these beverage products, whether plain water bottles, juices, cold drinks, or alcoholic products like beer or whiskey. Most of this water is actually coming from groundwater, and groundwater, as we know, is non renewable in nature. Once depleted, it takes like hundreds of years for it to get replenished. So we need to be coming up with a renewable option in the beverage space, and that is what we are trying to do. The startup is also targeting the premium packaged water market through the hospitality sector, pricing their bottles between Abyssalari, for example, and premium brands like Vedika or Himalayan Natural Mineral. Till now, we have supplied about 12,000 water bottles to a restaurant called Roxy in Sajjapur, Bangalore. So the response has been quite good because the customers have been looking to associate themselves with renewable products or services. In the hospitality sector, the switch to brands like Uruvu Labs seems to be driven by the image factor. In this case, the renewable water branding. For any guest who walks into this restaurant, the moment they see a water bottle on the table, they think it's just a water bottle. So what uh, sparks their curiosity is the particular water bottles at Roxy have uh, Roxy's logo on them. Few of them ask the staff about it, uh, what is this water about? And then the staff educate the customers that this brand is called Uravu and this is the process where they make the water so this is something unique and uh, we are the first customers of Urabu uh, since we are a startup and they are a startup we believe in collaborating together and helping each other while the environmental case for air water generators seems strong some questions still remain one major externality could potentially be the sucking away of a lot of water vapor from a closed atmosphere, which means that humidity levels may drop there if air water generators are being used at large scale. This is potentially not a big worry right now, but it could become one. We will need to make sure that we track it and manage it adequately so that it does not become a negative feature of the air water generator. Moreover, the technology is energy intensive, leading to higher carbon emissions. While both companies offer their technologies paired with renewable sources like solar, the decision is incumbent on clients. The energy requirement when we produce water from air uh, um, can be can be little higher when compared to the conventional processes like you know, digging groundwater and then using reverse osmosis. But the good part here in our case is that our technology is designed in such a way when compared to our other competitors that we can easily couple our technology with renewable energy options such as solar, PV uh, um, and waste heat, biomass option. Two important aspects that all of us have to address who are all in the water from air uh, business or uh, technology or manufacturing of this is that we have to bring down the cost of the machine significantly so that it becomes more affordable and because the challenge is at the uh, bottom of the pyramid as far as quality of water is concerned. A niche product as of now, funded by the promise of sustainability, whether air water generators will go on to become a viable solution to India's drinking water problems will be dependent on making the technology more accessible, as much as on the receptability of its consumers. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.